My dear brothers and sisters, a short reflection from the diary of St. Faustina, which is also titled Divine Mercy in My Soul. I take this passage from the 39th paragraph, diary number 39. I read that for you. One day, Jesus told me that he would cause a chastisement to fall upon the most beautiful city in our country. This chastisement would be that with which God had punished Sodom and Gomorrah. I saw the great wrath of God and a shudder pierced my heart. I prayed in silence. After a moment, Jesus said to me, my child, unite yourself close to me during the sacrifice and offer my blood and my wounds to my father in expiation for the sins of that city. Repeat this without interruption throughout the entire Holy Mass. Do this for seven days. On the seventh day, I saw Jesus in a bright cloud and began to beg him to look upon the city and upon our whole country. Jesus looked graciously. When I saw the kindness of Jesus, I began to beg his blessing. Immediately, Jesus said, for your sake I bless the entire country. And he made a big sign of the cross over our country. Seeing the goodness of God, a great joy filled my soul. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful reflection that Saint Faustina had written down in her diary. And this was about a chastisement that would come upon a city. When you talk about chastisement, it is not the kind of punishment that we understand. We understand punishment in human terms and based on our human knowledge and experience, we interpret chastisement and punishment. But it is not about human understanding or human idea of punishment or chastisement. It is a consequence of sin. Sin has a consequence. Every evil deed has a consequence. So, people bring upon themselves the consequence of sin. So, now God is allowing certain consequences to come because they are the eventuality of our misdeeds, our evil deeds, our sinful deeds. And every deed, every act has an effect. Every act by a human person has an effect, has a consequence. So God is so merciful because He sees the consequence of sin. He sees the effect that could come upon not just an individual alone, but upon a group of people, a community, um, and a whole nation. Now, this passage reveals about a most beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. It doesn't say the city looks ugly or it looks devilish. It says uh, a beautiful city and St. Faustina says the most beautiful city in the country. So even when we look around, everything is fine. Everything looks glamorous. Everything looks so captivating and attractive on the outside. But God knows the real state of a city. Wherever you are, Draw, draw inspiration from this particular verse to cry out for God's mercy. 
if you are listening today if you are participating in this prayer definitely god has a purpose god has a reason why he allowed you to join this prayer and to listen to these reflections so draw re- inspiration from this beautiful reflection look at what jesus said so my child unite yourself closely to me during the holy sacrifice during the holy mass is what he meant during the holy mass holy sacrifice of the mass and offer my blood and my wounds to my father in expiation for the sins of that city how beautiful how meaningful let us draw inspiration to cry out for god's mercy on our cities on our country let us not just feel comfortable and okay with the externals externally everything is fine externally everything seems to be okay at the moment uh, but uh, god sees everything on the inside he need he sees the real state so he's asking us to pray he's calling you to pray when you attend the holy mass cry out for god's mercy he says offer my blood and my wounds to my father in expiation for the sins of that city repeat this without interruption throughout the entire holy mass i'm reading it from the diary do this for 7 days and then sister faustina did it for 7 days and she, on the 7th day she got a sign on 7th day i saw jesus in a bright cloud and began to beg him to look upon the city and upon our whole country so it's not just faustina that has to do or some holy saintly people all of us christians are invited uh, are given the inspiration to pray and cry out for god's mercy upon our cities and then i When I saw the kindness of Jesus I began to beg his beg his mercy immediately Jesus said I'm blessing the country I'm blessing the country and a sign of the cross was made over that country let's pray that the that Jesus will bless our nation bless our cities and may we experience his mercy and goodness amen amen